Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's February 7th, 2014. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbino. Corn, soybeans, and wheat were all positive in Chicago this week. Let's turn over to the live quotes to see how we ended today. Corn was up one and a quarter cents. Soybeans up five and three quarter cents. Wheat falling off just a little bit to end of the week, down three and a quarter cents, and Kansas City was up a half a penny here today. You know, Logan, we did see nice rallies for corn, soybeans, and wheat this yep. week. Uh, but next week, we're really going to be focusing on the USDA WAS reports out on Monday. Yeah, you know, I think some of this week's strength really could have been attributed to expectations for Monday's numbers. Let's jump into this table here and see what traders on average are expecting for the USDA to report uh, in terms of U.S. ending stocks on Monday. As you can see, for corn, soybeans, and wheat, uh, the trade's expecting slight revisions lower. I think the, re the one crop to really keep an eye on in Monday's ending stocks numbers is going to be soybeans. As we know, even with 150 million bushels of projected ending stocks, stocks to use are exceptionally tight right now for soybeans, and there's been some concerns uh, about the South American crop. So, you know, on average, traders are looking for 7 million bushels taken off ending stocks, but I think that that's uh, really the crop to take a look at on Monday's numbers. You know, there's a couple areas that we're going to watch on the demand side here. Yeah. Uh, corn export sales has been a, a key contributor to the, the run up here most, most recently for corn. Uh, we know we're running well ahead of pace to meet the current USDA projections. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if on Monday's report we see a revision higher on export sales by about 25 or 50 million bushels. Um, you know, similar story in soybeans. We've been running well ahead of pace there. That has fueled the uh, uh, the rally here more recently right. as we haven't seen the, the soybean export sales really taper off like we would typically see this time of year. Uh, but big revisions there, I, I wouldn't anticipate that. I would anticipate maybe a revision around 10, uh, 10 million bushels or 15 million bushels uh, to the demand side on soybeans. Yeah, you know, now that we have the January report behind us, not a lot of traders are expecting domestic production changes here from the USDA, but some numbers that will be moving in Monday's report are going to be production figures out of South America. Take a look at this table here. The right column shows what the USDA projected uh, for Brazilian and Argentine corn and soybeans in January. The middle column here shows what traders are expecting on Monday. And you can see here, relatively unchanged figure for Brazilian corn. Brazilian soybean production, though, is an area that's going to be watched. It's the, that crop has been stressed here over the last five days. Uh, but still, on average, traders are looking for a revision higher, approaching 90 million metric tons. I think that's one number to look at in particular. We see private analysts still uh, projecting a crop that could be 91 to 92 million metric tons, even with recent stress to the crop. So keep an eye there on the Brazilian soybean crop. Uh, 89.76 million metric tons uh, expected to be reported on Monday by the USDA. Turning our attention here to Argentina, as you can see, uh, the expectations are for sizable revisions lower to their corn production. In large part, that has to do with stress that's really been focused around that northern growing area in Argentina. Soybeans expecting uh, a similar revision lower, not to the same degree as corn, uh, but a slightly smaller number out of Argentinian, Argentinian soybeans. Bottom line, in Monday's report, I think the two most important numbers to keep an eye on, Brazilian soybean production and that Argentinian corn number. You know, Logan, we, there are a lot of moving parts in Monday's report. Yeah. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us there. We'll be tweeting those numbers when they come across the news wires, 11 a.m. Central Time. Head over to our website, grainhedge.com, get live quotes for your mobile device, uh, either your iPad, your iPhone, your tablet, or your uh, Android device there. We'll give you a free demo, no obligation trial, get live quotes for that report. Or as always, you can give us a call, 877-472-4607. Thanks a lot for joining us here on a Friday. We'll see you on Monday for the February USDA report.